We're going to start here with that deadly school shooting in Washington State. Students sprinting outside to get away from a killer who turned the cafeteria there into a crime scene. But this time, the suspect was not an outcast. He was a popular kid, a football player who had just been named homecoming prince. And ABC's Neil Karlinski has the very latest from outside Marysville Pilchuck High School in Washington. Neil. Paula, Dan, good morning. The school remains locked down this morning, still very much an active crime scene. Investigators here trying to understand why, why a popular student would allegedly go on a shooting spree. It's got information of a possible shooting at the high school in the cafeteria. 10.39 a.m., the first call comes into 911 from inside the school. Put out an active shooter for now. Witnesses calling into our Seattle station, KOMO. There was five to six shots. I... I I counted five, but I think there was six. Emergency responders quickly swarmed the area. Inside, witnesses say a student gunman was methodically shooting kids sitting at a lunch table inside the school's cafeteria. Get another dirty up here. We got one more red coming out. Minutes later, the shooter is reported dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The shooter is down. Another student is also dead and four others injured, including two who ABC News confirmed are the alleged shooter's own cousin. They just got in a fight the other day and he, they had problems going on. The alleged shooter, not an outcast or a loner, but this year's freshman homecoming prince. And while not identified by police, eyewitnesses and law enforcement sources say he is Jalen Freiberg, a football player and popular student. From what I heard, there was a couple of uh, bullying incidents that had happened where some people had said some stuff about him in a class. And, you know, he, the, uh, the way he handled it is they, he did fight fight the kid. Twitter offers some clues. Jalen writing Thursday morning, it won't last. It'll never last. He seemed to be upset earlier in the week, tweeting, it breaks me. It actually does. I know it seems like I'm sweating it off, but I'm not, and I never will be able to. We're all going to pray together because we're all one big family at home that was there, that was sitting around a table. One big Freiburg family. That's the ones that got shot. Three of the victims remain in very critical condition this morning. The alleged shooter's family, members of a prominent Native American tribe out here called the Tulalips, have remained in seclusion. A tribal spokesperson released a statement overnight saying that they are all saddened and shocked, just like everyone else out here. Dan? Neil, thank you. This was a nightmare, of course, for the students in that school. This should have been a fun lunch period. Here now, more of what they saw in their own words. I turned around and I saw Jalen stand up and then I turned back around and all I heard was gunfire. Four shots went off and I, th we thought, I thought it was firecrackers and then everyone started ducking under the tables. It was like loud bangs and then everyone kind of just dropped to the floor and then ran out. I heard gunshots and it must have ricocheted off something and hit me. When I fell over, I got up and there's just someone laying on the ground. And then three more went off and everyone started screaming, run, it's a gun. And then somebody was telling us that someone has a gun, someone has a gun. And so we just ran into a classroom. I saw everyone running and I ran. I don't even like really know like how to comprehend it at this point, you know. We all ran into the woods and we went to the back gate and the fence was closed and we're all trying to help each other hop over the fence and there was so much screaming and crying and confusion. No one knew what was happening. Just really shocking to find out family has been shot. Those were my friends. And the question so many ask are asking this morning is why.